What if there's more to impressive skylines in Europe, beyond Frankfurt, London, or Paris? Warsaw, the capital city of Poland, has now become home to numerous praiseworthy skyscrapers. It is one of the cities that has been transparent about building more skyscrapers than any other European city. Currently, Warsaw has 25 buildings that go over 100 meters in height, and there are several more approved skyscraper constructions underway which are transforming this capital city's skyline. Warsaw's long and extensive history has left a noticeable mark on its architecture and urban form. Unlike most Polish cities, Warsaw's cityscape is mostly contemporary, with modern glass buildings towering above older historical edifices similar to features of American megacities such as New York. Join us today as we explore some of the finest modern high-rise buildings in this underrated European city. Number 5. Atlas Tower The Atlas Tower is an office complex built in 1999. With a height of 116 meters, this was Vahab Toy's brainchild, a controversial Turkish architect and businessman. Before being called Atlas Tower, this building was known as Reform Tower, named after the Turkish firm Reform Company Limited, that financed the $45 million project. The facility has 31 floors, of which three are below ground. The two lowest levels house a car park for 436 vehicles and utility facilities. The next four floors are retail, while the fifth is occupied by restaurants. The remainder of the floors are Class A offices which also include the Embassy of Mexico to Poland. Two panoramic elevators serve the commercial area, and six serve the office tower. Atlas Tower is most popular for hosting the Warsaw Invisible Exhibition, a unique and interactive experience in the darkness, just using the senses of smell, hearing, and touch. Another element of interest in this tower is its restaurant called Different. Here, diners get to have their meal in darkness, having no clue of what is served. They would have to use their senses to guess the food served. Residents of Warsaw sometimes nickname the building Toy Toy, after a brand of portable toilets. Most likely, this term relates to the peculiar design of the skyscraper. Number 4. Centrum Limb Building The Centrum Limb is a skyscraper situated at the very center of Warsaw, adjacent to the Oxford Tower. It was built by Limb Joint Venture, a consortium of three partners, Polish Airlines, an Austrian construction company, and the hotel chain Marriott International. The locals usually call the facility the Marriott. The building quickly gained prestige and popularity, in part by being among the first five-star hotels in Poland. Centrum Lim is a stunning glass building with a height of 140 meters. It has a dark green facade, and edges of the building are white in color, which illuminate at night with a bright white light. Also, the structure has two floors that form dark horizontal stripes, one halfway up the structure and the other at the top that serve as utility areas. Located at the 40th floor of the building is the infamous Panorama Sky Bar, which provides the city's best views. A shopping center with about 40 shops, cafes, and restaurants are on the two lower floors. Between floors 5 and 19 are the rental office spaces. The Warsaw Marriott Hotel is located on floors 20 and above and has 523 rooms including 95 suites. The topmost floor is the presidential suite, which has hosted many U.S. presidents, including Barack Obama, Donald Trump, and Bill Clinton. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. Share your thoughts on these impressive skyscrapers in the comments below. Number 3. The Warsaw Spire With a height of 220 meters, the Warsaw Spire is the third tallest skyscraper in the capital city, and also the third tallest building in whole of Poland. This neo-modern building was constructed by the Belgian real estate developer Galamco. It is created with the vision in which office space is harmoniously combined with a unique approach to modern urban space. The project's location is one of the most dynamically developing parts of the capital, with modern office buildings and prestigious residential projects, as well as excellent transport, including trams, buses, and a second metro line. 
The complex boasts the high perboloid glass facade and a 180-meter high tower building, along with two lower buildings, each of 55 meters in height. Together, they provide ample office space equipped with the latest technical solutions. In December 2014, a large neon sign with the words I love Warsaw was installed, but when the building was topped out in April 2015, the neon sign was removed due to progress in facade assembly. A more advanced version of the sign returned permanently to the top of the tower in May 2016 for the opening of the building. In 2017, the building received the MIPIM Award for Best Office in Business Development in the World during the International Property Fair in Cannes, France. Therefore, the Warsaw Spire is highly reputed among and praised by both locals and industry leaders. Number 2. Palace of Culture and Science The Palace of Culture and Science is an iconic high-rise building in Warsaw. With a total height of 237 meters, it is the second tallest building in Poland and the sixth tallest building in the European Union. But for many decades, it had secured its place at the largest and tallest skyscraper in Poland. The palace was also the tallest clock tower in the world for many years, until the position was snatched by Dokomo Tower in Japan. The palace was a well-known gift from the Soviet people and was commissioned by Joseph Stalin. At the time, it was treated as a reminder from Moscow to show that Warsaw was being watched. Even though the city has gone past its history, there are mixed emotions and feelings attached to this building up to this date. Constructed in 1955, the architecture of the building is closely related to several similar skyscrapers built in the Soviet Union of the same era, most notably the main building of Moscow State University. However, the main architect Lev Rednev incorporated some Polish architectural details into the project after traveling around Poland and seeing the architecture. In 2010, the illumination of the building was modernized and high-power LED lights were installed, allowing the palace to take various colors at night. For instance, in December 2013, during the Euromaidan protests, it was illuminated in blue and yellow, the colors of the Ukrainian national flag as a sign of solidarity with the protesters. Number 1. Varso Tower Varso Tower is a neo-modern office building complex, currently under construction in Warsaw. It will become the tallest building in the entire European Union and the sixth tallest building in Europe, with its full height of 310 meters. It will bag the record by going beyond former record holder, Frankfurt's Commerzbank Tower which is at 259 meters. Varso Tower will be slightly taller than the Shard in London and will also replace the iconic Palace of Culture and Science in Warsaw. The building was topped out in February 2021, and it is expected to be completed by the end of 2022, with the opening of the observation deck planned for the first half of 2023. With a total of 53 stories, the observation deck at 230 meters altitude will be accessible to the public, and the viewing terrace will be double the height of the Palace of Culture and Science. It will be the highest inhabited floor in Poland which has uninterrupted views of Warsaw. There will be a glass elevator with a speed of 8 meters per second to reach the viewing terrace. The tower's estimated cost of construction is approximately $520 million. The building will have a direct underground link to Warsaw Central Station. A four-story underground car park will accommodate approximately 1,100 cars, 80 motorbikes, and 750 bicycles. Part of the million-dollar investment is the modernization of the surroundings around Varso Tower, including new pavements, street lamps, benches, bike stands, and signage. These are some of the most impressive modern skyscrapers in Warsaw, Poland. What do you think about them? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.